I am working on a magnet eye movie. It's showing how it attracts and pulls and all the different things that magnets can do. We've done a lot of study, a lot of hands-on experiments with magnets and trying to figure out what makes a magnet a magnet and things like repel and attract. And now that they have all that knowledge, I want them to share that knowledge back to me and I want them to share it the best way they know how. So I give them sort of an open forum of how can you demonstrate your learning to me. So today we had some students doing a Google Doc, we had some kids doing Google Slides, we had kids using iMovies and they had taken videos in slow motion and time lapse to, to really capture the repel or the flip of a magnet. We had some kids doing stop motion animation using Google Slides, which is something that they learned at the very beginning of the year. And some were working alone, but most were working in partners, and uh, they chose their form and then they went to it today. I'm learning more than just magnets though. I'm learning technology because like, I'm learning how to use iMovie more and expand to different things. Like, it's a little bit more interesting to present your stuff on a iPad or a computer. Because I'm a kid and it's a lot more fun. And she lets us use different things like the Chromebooks and the iPads. And she makes learning fun. And like using Roblox and stuff. This is our daily, every day. We're really trying to integrate other subject areas into our learning. So when we're learning about magnets, we're also sneaking in those technology concepts. And then we're also learning those people skills and the collaboration and the communication and the problem solving. If two of them don't agree, they have to figure out how to compromise and, and how to make those decisions um, and work through it and revising and editing. And it might not be writing per se, but it's another way of representing their learning. Well, we're developing um, movie we're de skills. Movie, we're developing our editing skills. You can add text to it. You can like re-record yourself. You can do every like all this different stuff, and you can and you can show your learning in it too. But it's, it's more fun. Like you don't have to type things down. You can like actually make it so you can say it and stuff. So that's yeah. It's more efficient, I guess. It takes a little bit more upfront work in terms of teaching them the basis of green screening and stop motion and how to use an iPad and how to find your drive and how to drop pictures to your drive. But it's just building up that knapsack of tools so that when they come to an assignment, that they go, oh yeah, I can share this in this way. Then they're more excited to put it forward because it's theirs. I feel proud because I've never used iMovie in my life and this is what I've made. I guess that is the best part of my job is that I'm a vice principal and a classroom teacher so I can put these things in practice in my own classroom but then I actually can support putting these things into all of the classrooms within my building. Once you see it in practice, if people come into your room and see it happening, then they go, wow, and they, they see the value and the worth and, and what's happening and all the other things that sort of just disappear when kids are working together and engaged and seeing the pride like today that they're proud of what they come up with in the finish and it really is theirs and not yours. It's fun. I like school. It's really interesting because it's technology.